In this video, I'll show you how to create email messages in Aweber. First, you need to make sure you are in the right email list that you want your messages to follow through. If you don't have an email list, you need to create one before you start it. And to create an email list, you just have to click on manage list and follow through. Let's get started. So first, hover over messages and click on campaigns so you can click here to create a campaign or you can click up here to create a campaign you have two options you can create or import a campaign also you can create a campaign based on templates so you can go through but in most cases blank campaign is the right one okay, okay. then you have to give it a name okay so you can change this name at any time so don't worry much about it click on create Alright, so at first this might look a bit confusing, but trust me, this editor is so easy to use. So you have two options here. Start a campaign when someone is added to your list, which is on subscriber. So soon as somebody subscribe, these messages will follow or tag message. In most cases, this is what you want because you want when people subscribe, they'll start getting messages. Click on subscribe. Alright, so on this page, drag a message box and drop it here. Click on create a message. So you have three options, drag and drop email builder, plain text message and HTML editor. So which one do you want to use? I want to use the drag and drop email builder. All right, so now I need to add my subject line. So if you wanna add emoji, This will make your message stand out. Also, you can add describer info if you want to add first name to the subject, but I don't want to do that. So click back. The next thing you have to take care of is the message preheader. So this is the attention grabber that will entice your customer to click and read more. By default, if you leave it like that, Aweber will generate from your first message line, which is all right, but sometimes it's not the attention grabber message that you want to send. I'll copy mine and I'll paste it here. okay so i'm done with that on the left you have your element that you would like to use let's say image video button product card logo social share and stuff like that but we'll get to that later all right so now it's time to create the message so i'll highlight this and delete and one thing i will advise you to do always prepare your message in microsoft word then after you copy and paste it here it makes your work easier then i will paste my url here okay so this can be your affiliate link or whatever page you want to send them to okay highlight which is here and click on link then paste it here and when it's check click ok so i'll highlight and bold it okay as you can see over here too the best advice don't add too much links because it's gonna trigger spam or if you want you can highlight this copy enter enter and paste it here then after you can enter enter again and you can write something nice and if you want to add an image or a logo you just drag the image okay and drop it here you click on the logo upload an image click on it and upload to minimize it if this is for your blog website I would advise you to add your own image. Anyway, I'm showing you, but later on I'll delete it. I want to add my social media icons. I'll add the divider first, drop it. And I'll add my social media icons, which is share. Right under, but it should be under the box. Okay, so let's say you don't want LinkedIn, you just 
take it off so click on it click on this and change it to custom url then double click this delete it then you drop your link okay so but i don't want to do that all right so i'll just let go of it now if this is for your blog that's fine or your website but if you are doing affiliate marketing i'll advise you to take it off because people are gonna jump straight to your social media instead of concentrating on your email or your offer right and i don't need this as well so i'll let go of it and i'll preview it so this is how it's gonna be let's preview on mobile all right so this is how it's gonna look like on mobile which is good i guess there's too much spacing sometimes it might look like this but when you publish it looks totally different so back to editor okay so i'm done with it so what i will do next click on save and exit so now i'm gonna add another message all right so drag the waiting clock how many days before the second message should go out one day after in my case i'll change it i'll make it uh three days after then i'll grab my message box drop it here click on create a message drag and drop email builder all right so i'll add my subject line copy and paste like i told you always practice this and this time around i'll add it just makes your message stands out all right so the next line of action to work on is the message preheader like i said earlier on this is your attention grabber headline i'll paste it in here all right double click this delete then paste your message or you can type your message but like i said it's always good to type it in advance all right then now i like this click on the link paste the link when it's checked you click ok and now make it bold okay just to stand out a bit and also i'll highlight this and change the color to red just to stand out and also as usual enter enter all right so i'm gonna preview all right then back to the editor so when you're done then click save and exit so the last thing i would like to do is to add a tag all right so the tag helps you to know the type of clients that you have in your email list and also the type of offer they might be interested in i'll just drag and place it right under this message then i'll add the tag then comma to this message as well so i'll drag it sorry and put it right underneath and i'll use the same tag enter or comma it doesn't matter as you can see i didn't enter 12 minute athlete because 12 minute athlete is just the name of the product this is just a category that will help you to place an offer to a specific email okay all right so when everything is done click on save and exit all right so these are the messages so in future if i want to add more i'll come back and i'll just go in and i'll add more messages but for the sake of this tutorial i just want to add two okay? and now the next step is really really important please please don't forget about this click on draft and activate the campaign so right now as soon as somebody sign up they're gonna get this message three days after they're gonna get this message okay and you have your open rate and uh, click rate so this is how it works all right so this is the end of the tutorial i hope you like it please if you find value in it don't forget to like comment and subscribe 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 to this channel until next time please do take care of yourself
and have a wonderful day bye bye